This video will show you working with bricks um, on a single volume. Now this is a, a segmented data set that I have loaded here. Uh, and these are the different transfer functions that we have for this uh, data. Now let's add a brick. So go to views and then brick data. So that's the bricks. So let me just take the transfer function editor out. Here we have the bricks. <coughs> now let's add a brick. So add a brick. So here we have a brick. Brick zero is like a transformation node in this case now. So uh, you can apply different transformations, say rotations, scaling uh, to this these bricks here. So let's select the a portion of the data so this is the volume min and max and the dimensions of the brick so if I move this this is using the left mouse button so we have selected a portion of the brick here there it's that one now if you put it on brick 0 you just don't see any difference now for example in brick 1 you want to set different transfer functions so you can choose a set that you want uh, to put the transfer functions for that uh, brick so let's choose say set one i'm pressing one to get the uh, shadowing now you can see that there is really nothing in set one and that's why we get an empty space for uh, where there is brick one so let's put something in transfer function set one so i've selected transfer function zero and say transfer function one in and i've put them in set one so this is what we have here and similarly you can add for example transfer function 2 in in set 1 so so this is how you can select a different set and render the portion for a particular brick now instead of one brick let's have another brick so we can add another brick say here and let us put say sets uh, transfer functions in set 2 now again here there is nothing in transfer function set 2 so let's put some transfer functions there so here we have now two bricks and these are these are overlapping bricks so if you look at this this is one brick and this is second brick yeah so you can have many bricks uh, and uh, you can also overlap them now if you want to remove a brick then you can just press remove and the brick is removed so let us remove brick 2 so that we have removed brick 2 now suppose we want to take this brick away from the main uh, main uh, volume let's click brick 1 so this we want to translate uh, in uh, say which direction is it so it's y direction so I pressed A to get the axis so A is to toggle the axis okay so we want to move the brick in in Y direction so just give translate and say 0.5 and then it will be translated so if we for example set the transfer functions for set 0 then this is what we will see if we so let's do animation of that so put that back 
to 0 set a keyframe set another keyframe where we have moved the brick to see what's inside and set keyframe so when we run the animation the brick is moved okay now suppose we want to rotate this brick about this point here and then then open it up like that okay so we will do that so for that we need to need know the pivot so one way to uh, see what, where the rotation axis and pivot is is to do show axis so when we did show axis it's through the center of this brick now we want to have a vertical axis so 0 0 1 so this is the axis that we want but we want the pivot to be at one end now the rotation pivot is at 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 now if we do at 0 0 0 that is at this point here if we do say 0 1 0 then it is at the desired point so we want to rotate it like that so let's we have put the this pivot so let's save the keyframe let us say rotate it by say 90 degrees and then set keyframe so when we start the animation the brick opens up now suppose we don't know the uh, we can't get the pivot exactly what we can do is say for example it's here and and I want to have a pivot here so one way is to either give exact coordinates here or we are going to use this edge button to use the edge button we will first add a point here so shift and left click to add a point so this is the point that we have added and now let us press H so this is the new pivot point so this, this is the new pivot point and this is the axis we want now suppose let me just delete this point so I'm hovering over this point and pressing delete now suppose we want to rotate about some random axis say about this axis let's say and this is the pivot point and this is the other axis this is the uh, point through which we want the axis to go so let's click a point here and then press the rotation axis hit point so when you put that the axis changes so that it passes through these two points let me just again just hover over this point and uh, remove it so hover over the point and then press delete so I've removed this point and now this is our rotation axis so let's see how it rotates so set keyframe under the keyframe say 10 degrees or oh, it's the other way around so minus say minus 50 degrees so it will rotate like that so when we run the animation it starts rotating like that okay or we can change the pivot so that it is here and then the rotation axis is 0 1 0 0 and we can then give the rotation to minus minus say 90 which is like that and then while the rotation is going on we can also translate it say, say minus 0 0.5 and uh, 0.5 let me just hover over that and remove the point okay set keyframe 
and then you can just run so while it is being rotated it can also be translated so so these are some of the basic things that you can do now while this is being done you can also rotate for example brick zero so brick zero i would like to have rotation like that so my rotation axis is say, 001 and I would like to rotate say, say 90 degrees or minus 90 degrees yeah so set the keyframe here now go back go to brick 0 just set the rotation axis to 001 set the keyframe and then while your brick 1 is being opened up your brick 0 is also getting rotated and so this way you can do multiple rotations you can also do scaling so for example again I'll just work on the same brick here now this brick I can scale it down say for example 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 I can really make it very small so set the keyframe so when you start your animation your brick will start getting smaller and smaller and smaller so this is how you can play with the bricks